there are a lot of comic book films coming out in the next couple of years. I'm pretty sure those of us who care at all are fairly aware of that by now. And sure, it's great that they're so popular, even if they run the risks of oversaturating the market. But regardless of anything regarding who's making what, or why they're being put out, or whether or not there are too many of them, the main thing is that we want all of them to be good. Or even great. So gather round Warner Brothers, Disney, Fox, Sony and the rest, because here are five steps to making your films worth our time. Us fans are, for the most part, awesome. However, there are numerous reasons that us who reach on the internet aren't the ones making movies. The fanboys tend to go off the nuts at uh, pretty much anything out with the Marvel Cinematic Universe. What's that? Human Torch is going to be black? Boo, says the internet. Ben Affleck is Batman? The apocalypse is nigh. Heath Ledger is the Joker? Wah! But seriously, don't listen to the backlash from the web. It almost always ends up being unfounded, and when it is right about something, it's generally for the wrong reasons. You are the people employed to make legitimately good films, so do what you reckon to be the right call for the film's quality. Chances are you're right. Making a good movie is always the priority. Sure, it's nice to see films like The Avengers, which are great adaptations of their comic counterparts, but at the same time, the Dark Knight trilogy is great because they're good to great films about heroism and the lanes between good and evil, not because they're about Batman. That just makes them sell better. You can portray the characters as faithfully as you like, but unless it works as a movie in its own merits, it doesn't matter. So if it comes down to a dilemma between whatever makes the movie better and whatever stays true to the comics, Go for the former every day of the week. Movies and comics are two different mediums, so you're going to need to take liberties with the latter in order to make your movie as good as it can be. Being a superhero or comic book film does not give you a license to cram your movie full of everything you can without telling a cohesive story. Yes, I know that's Superman on screen, but that doesn't give you a license to not develop him or give him a story. A protagonist, whether they be a hero or anti-hero, should be someone worth getting invested in. So show them a journey throughout the film, whether it's them becoming more selfless, less arrogant, struggling with morality, or whatever it is you decide on, it should be the focus of the entire film and needs to breathe. Everything else should be sacrificed in order to tell that story well. Okay, putting aside whatever opinion you have on Man of Steel, Zod is a great example of this. In the film, it's all about Clark embracing his uniqueness and true self, living out his freedom and not accepting control from fear of the government. Contrarily, Zod is a synthetically created being who was born and bred for a single purpose, something he is completely unable to overcome, whereas kal manages to rise above his self-imposed mental limitations and becomes what is in his heart to be. This is just one example, others include the Joker, Doc Ock, and Magneto. Sure, you can have the most fun, charismatic, and engaging he hero in the world, but if the bad guy just doesn't feel like any sort of threat, or worse, doesn't pose some kind of thematic question or juxtaposition to our protagonists, then the movie just feels like a distraction. Any movie should be made because someone has a vision for it, not to fill a gap in someone's release schedule. So don't spend the film reminding us of that other film coming out next year, and looking at you Amazing Spider-Man 2, but rather focus on what's happening in the actual film you're making. I have absolutely nothing against the sequel tease at the end of the film, sure, but the movie needs to tell a streamlined narrative without being distracted by the fact that it's part of something bigger. References, easter eggs, and crossovers are all great as long as they make sense and aren't bogging the film down. But any movie without the tagline Part X should be able to tell its own story over the course of its running time. Basically, I'm far more likely to see Deadpool 2 because the first one was great than because it had a really great Taskmaster setup. So I hope you enjoyed our little movie lesson, if you'd like to see more of them then please drop a like and if you haven't already, give that subscribe button a hug. But for now, from me, it's adios, goodbye, and enjoy your life.